Have you seen those bumper stickers or t-shirts that say, not all who wander are lost? I've seen them before. They always make me think for just a minute. And then, then I thought the flip side the other day. Yeah, but all those who are lost are wandering. And I don't know if you've ever been lost before. I mean, really seriously lost before. You know, you're pre-GPS on your phone days, or maybe you're in a remote place that has no satellite connection and you are genuinely lost, or you're out on a hike, and it's starting to get dark, and you don't have your compass with you, and you realize you have been off the map, off the trail for a while, and you don't know which direction to get back to. The uncertainty about, you know, if I head this direction, am I even, if I'm making it worse or better, the worry about being lost and not knowing gets worse the longer that you're in it. And there are times in our lives where we feel a bit lost. When we are wandering, not because it's fun, but because we're not sure what we're doing. Or maybe we know people, people we care about and love, or people we just work with, that their life just, it looks like they're lost. And it's only when we've been lost and then we realize where we are or we figure out how to get back or the answer becomes really clear about what we're supposed to do next that we really appreciate that kind of clarity and certainty. And in the Gospel of John, Jesus tells his disciples, I'm the way. He says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And, and just thinking about you know, if you've ever been deeply lost and then found, that's what it's like to know Christ as Lord and Savior. That's what it's like to have him be guiding and directing the paths of your life. That, yep, you might still need to make decisions about whether you leave your job for that one or what you major in at college or, or what needs to happen in a difficult relationship that you have. There are still going to be lots of challenges. You might still find yourself lost occasionally. But if you have Christ and you're following him as Lord and Savior, he's the way and he gives us direction. Not just to knowing God the Father, but in every aspect of our life which belongs to Him. He's the way. And that is great and comfort and encouragement. It was for Jesus' disciples that at the time hearing Him say these things, they were a little concerned about what was going to happen going forward. They were concerned about being lost. It still applies for us today. Thanks for checking out this devotional video. I hope that you could join us sometime in person here at worship here at Providence Christian Reformed Church. We have services at 930 or they're online as well. Until we see each other again, God's peace to you.